Right, first of all, today's video is out in the sunshine at Pula Golf Resort in Mallorca. That's the good news. The second bit of good news is I've got my hands on a wedge that I was really positive about in the first few iterations. It's from Cleveland, it's a CBX, it's the Full Face 2, and I've got a feeling this one could end up in the bags of a lot of average golfers out there. So the first question is, why do I think these will end up in the bags of many average golfers? Well, it's quite simply because they are very playable wedge. They're a very forgiving wedge. And I say that based on my previous experience. What I want to see today is what is Full Face 2 all about? Do I like the change in the profile and the shaping of this club? And maybe we start there and let's just have a quick look at this thing. In terms of a shelf appeal perspective, I still think it falls into that game improvement visual, if you like. And what I mean by that, it's a little bit bulky. It's got that wide width of sole. All these things are intended to help. They're there for a reason. And then from that front edge, like a lot of wedges right now, they've gone full face in terms of those grooves and that profile well, we'll talk about that very shortly the interesting bit for me in terms of full face grooves I understand them when you're perhaps talking about a 56 58 or a 60 wedge because that's often a shot that you will open up the club face and those grooves might come into effect I'm not really understanding why they appear on a 52 a 50 and a 54 that confuses me a little anyway let's hit some golf shots Right, so we're going to kick things off from 80 yards out, and this is not a full shot with a 52, so you'll be questioning, well, why aren't you playing a full shot? Well, because I like a wedge to be versatile, and I like a wedge to be able to be very much playable from a half shot, a three-quarter swing, that's my game. I'm not one that carries a whole load of wedges either, so it's not all about full shot with me. So 80 yards out, 52 wedge, I think is a three-quarter swing. Um, first thing I notice is that the shape and head profile with this wedge is very different. They've changed this up, in my opinion, quite significantly. Uh, the high toe area seems to be higher, and it sort of scoops very sort of almost strangely into the neck. Um, and I think that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. And as ever with my reviews, you get honesty. And it's not something I'm overly comfortable with at the address position. That's really, um, yeah, odd, to be honest with you. But it's almost, I would say, like I said, for me, somehow, the word scoop, and I don't know why that's coming as, uh, as, as a word into my head, but it suggests that it's going to help me, if you like, and maybe that's where this is positioned in terms of the mentality. Right, that all may change if we pick this ball up nice and clean and we stick it near the flag. So three shots from here, and let's see how we get on. Well, that's a really nice pickup. It's really interesting that um, CBX wedges from the day that I've played them are super easy to play. That's what I'm going to say. And what I mean by that is they pick the ball up really well. Uh, they get a good ball flight. This seems to be the width of sole again is a real help in terms of picking that ball up. Now, whether or not it's a mentality thing, I've no idea. But all I can say is CBX wedges definitely seem to be on that game improvement spectrum and they do what they're supposed to. Right, let's try a couple more. Right, okay, so, I mean, performance-wise, more than happy. Um, like I said, judging distance meant a little bit of change up in terms of the swing. That first shot I've hit this morning. So working with wedges, as you well know, it takes a period of time to adjust and understand your yardages. And it's very much sort of uh, something that will grow the longer you use them. But first off, from a three-quarter swing, so far so good. We need to change position and throw in a little bit of a curveball, make this a little bit more difficult. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Shervo, the premium Italian golfwear and sportswear brand. By using some of the most innovative fabrics, Shervo produce clothing that is both stylish and incredibly comfortable to wear, both on and off the golf course. For more information, visit the Shervo website, and I will, of course, provide a link in the description of this video. Right, let's get back to the golf. 
Right, a bit unfair in terms of testing out our 52 wedge, playing out of a bunker with uh, not a lot of carry, but we're going to give it a go anyway, and again, see if we can test out that full face grooves and the versatility of the 52. So let's lay this one wide open and give it a bit of a splash. Oh, do you know what? That's not bad at all, and the interesting thing is the fact that a little bit of grab there as well. So, from a bunker's perspective, I certainly wouldn't be playing a 52 from there. Super impressed. Right, so we're going to uh, ramp things up a little bit in terms of the difficulty of the shot, at least anyway, and see what kind of feel we've got on this, because I would very much describe this as a feel shot. We've got two different cameras uh, before we get to the flag, and a 52, perhaps not ideal, you'd want a little bit more loft, but like I said, let's see if we can can make this work with this 52 in hand. Once again, first thing I notice at address is just that it's kind of, like I said, slightly odd shaping. Um, this has got to be left of the flag and see if we can just drift one in and then we'll hit a couple more from here. That's delicate enough. It's off the right side of the slope. There's a decent start and I think some decent feel, feedback at least, maybe a little bit off the bottom grooves. We'll try one more, we'll try two more, but we'll leave the camera rolling for a little bit and just see what we can do with this. Yeah, nice, a crisper strike to be honest with you. First one off the bottom grooves, which again, I don't mind seeing how a club performs when you don't get it quite right, because let's be honest, as average golfers, that's what we're gonna do more than often. So, I'm happy with them, and I really, again, look, this is a cast club. I've done another video um, alongside this today from the same positions and i'm not sure which video comes out first they were forged wedges and yes there is a difference however i will say that as a cast club this does a real good job we might as well stick around for number three well all i can say is from that position i'd be more than happy because believe me i don't think the camera might show off just how difficult that shot is Right, we're going to put it through its test today because, or through its paces rather, uh, another what I would consider quite a difficult shot. Again, all about feel. With a 52 wedge, you're expecting it to flight in a little bit lower, and that's something I mean. Do you know what? Interested in because whilst this is a 52 wedge, it seems to present a huge amount of loft and far greater than 52 at address. And I mean a lot more. I could almost, if you put that in front of me now and said, what loft have we got? I'd be talking 58 or 60. That's how much difference it looks. I'm not too sure um, the logic behind that. So with this kind of shot, we're looking to pitch up around the fringe and uh, then release down towards the hole. Sounds good. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I killed it. Do you know what? That was so good. I said pitch into the fringe. The bank actually just stopped it dead. I wasn't expecting that, but ball flight was interesting. It was... Um, yeah, like I said, a little bit higher than what I was expecting. Let's see if we can hit this one a little bit lower. Well, we managed to hit it a little bit lower, but got it a little bit heavy as well. So not the best results there. In fact, I'm going to try one more ball whilst the camera's on, because, yeah, I did catch that just a little bit heavy. Nothing major. And again, perhaps would have liked to have seen that sole help me out. But maybe even that couldn't help that heavy of a shot. That's a lot better clip that's the shot i was trying to play and that could go in the hole the reason i tried to play it differently is because can we manipulate that loft can we make it it was a bit more hands forward the second or second and third attempt um, ball back in the stance a little bit and the idea could we flight that ball a little bit down and yes you can so first of all for me what i like to see in a wedge is versatility first shot was just a standard let the club do its thing that was kind of ball flight i got second and third effort hands forward ball back a little bit in the stance and try and hit that one just in a little bit lower and it did exactly that and the third one in particular really did execute what i was trying to do so i like the versatility of it don't forget this is it's got to be classed in that game improvement category in terms of the style of wedge but even if you want to play a variety of shots and that's a strong part of your game i still think it's very much doable with these cbx wedges that's it 
wedge review done. Very difficult to do a wedge review in my opinion. All we've tried to do is demonstrate the versatility of the club, talk about maybe the sound and the feel of it. And let's start with that bit first of all. I've said throughout this video, this is very much a cast club. And the important bit for me is that I done another review alongside it, which was Mizuno wedges. And it's a little bit unfair in some ways because they're very different in what they're intended to do but the one noticeable difference between the two was that sound and feel so for me that's where you see that this doesn't quite have that sound and feel certainly of a forged wedge however what Cleveland do very well is making a cast club feel and sound as good as I've possibly felt to be honest with you it is a good overall feeling and sounding club then you go on to the looks thing which is where to me I've got a slight issue. I'm not as keen on the kind of the profile that has been developed. I don't remember it being um, this kind of, like I said, as high in the toe and a sort of weird shape into the neck. That bit I was a little unsure of. Um, but overall, what about performance? Well, from the longest shots in, I couldn't have picked the ball up any better. Again, I do like the confidence that the wider sole gives. And again, feel shots from in and around the green, super impressed. That one singular bunker shot that I played, well, it was really impressive, to be honest with you. Didn't expect to be getting that out from a slightly wet sand here at Pula today. But again, played that exceptionally well. There's a few more shots that I played from in and around the greens. And for me, it's all about just changing the sort of hand position and how I want to see the ball fire into the greens and I was able to do that on every occasion so whilst it's a game improvement wedge it's still very playable in a number of golfers hands in my opinion overall what Cleveland do with their whole lineup to be honest with you but with CBX wedges is make a very playable and very forgiving set of golf clubs and that certainly again falls into this category so very positive for a number of golfers for me on this occasion profile not quite on my eye and from a field perspective i probably would lean towards something slightly different but they certainly will as i said at the beginning of this video fall into the bags of many average golfers and i don't think you'll be disappointed right as ever thank you for watching uh, here at Pula Golf Resort, a stunning few days and uh, many more videos to come from here. So keep your eyes peeled. That's me done and I'll see you all tomorrow night.